Hey girl, it's Emily. I'm so pumped to bring you a new program that's been long overdue and that you all have been asking for. Think habit-based fitness to help you stay consistent with a workout routine made with you in mind and for whatever season of life that you're in. I'm talking progressive overload, metabolic conditioning that won't wreck your hormones, and workouts that support your body and mind. I'm so excited to bring you the new Training for Life app launching September 30th. Now, what makes this program so unique is in addition to my eight plus years of being a fitness instructor and coaching hundreds of women, I'm also putting my expertise as a behavior change specialist in this program and including my very best habit strategies to ensure you stick with the program. So get on the wait list to be the first to hear about the launch of the Training for Life app on September 30th and join us for a fun 21 day sweater weather challenge to help you get started. Just go to BI it.ly slash training for life. It's also linked in the show notes for you. I'm so excited for this. Now let's get into the show. Hey girl, do you wish you could make your healthy habits stick, but life keeps getting in the way? Are you tired of diet culture telling you to shrink yourself when you'd rather just find true food freedom, move your body for joy and feel and look good in your favorite leggings? then you're in the right place. Think of this as Atomic Habits for Women. Hey, I'm Emily Nichols, habit and fitness coach, millennial mom, and Taco Tuesday enthusiast. I'm here to tell you there is an easier way than what we've been taught about health and our habits. How do I know? Because I've gone from former chronic dieter to habit hacker through the power of this system that I'm now going to teach you so you can finally stop dieting and just train for life via your habits. Remember, it's not your fault your healthy habits haven't stuck. We just have to do them differently. Are you ready to habit hack your health? Then let's do this. Hey gang, welcome back to the Training for Life series. I am so excited to launch the Training for Life app with you all next week. Now, true transparency with you all. I was really hoping to share the link with you as of today, but I have ran into like a crazy tech issue and my help desk engineering folks are working on fixing it, which I so appreciate it. And I could share it in a roundabout way, but honestly, I want it to be a smooth process for you all. So I'm probably going to wait until Monday the 30th to actually share that link with you all to launch the app in our 21 day sweater weather challenge together. If you're on the wait list, if I know before Monday, I'll be sharing that with you, but you you can sign up to be one of the first to know at bit.ly slash training for life. Now, this is just another example of life happening. Sometimes things are out of your control and something that I have factored into the app for you, honestly, for me personally, I train for life or move my body so I don't totally freak out or stress out and spiral when things don't go my way. I'm literally creating dopamine and other happy endorphins that help when life is lifing. Even if it's only 10 or 15 minutes of movement, if that's all I have the capacity for, I know it's going to make a big difference in my mindset. Now, <laughs> it's not to say I didn't call my husband frustrated earlier and on top of it, step in doggy doo-doo a barefoot earlier today when letting out our new puppy for the 1,000th time today. But look, that's life. I appreciate you being patient as we're getting this app launched. It's going to be so great. The easy part for me personally has been programming everything for you and recording the workouts. It's the tech and logistics that's been slowing me down, but we'll get it together. I promise. It's it's just life, right? So I wanted to chat about something that I think we need to address as I've been chatting with folks about the app, and that is the time commitment. Other than how to stay consistent, which we've already addressed, right? The way you stay consistent is to follow a habit-based program to ensure you're able to pivot with life, with life, but also see and feel results since you are following a, a program backed by science, right? But time is a close second to consistency for the biggest challenge when it comes to fitness for moms in their late 30s, early 40s. So I just wanted to go over a couple of questions with you to ask yourself in, in regards to if you'll have enough time for the Training for Life app. 
We'll talk about some more FAQs on our next episode as well when we launch the app. But I think addressing the time issue is something we need to talk about now. So here's a few questions to ask yourself. The first is, what if I'm already working out? What, like, what, 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 why would I do this program? Why do I want to add on more to what I'm doing? Okay. Well, I would ask yourself, what kind of program are you following right now? Or are you just kind of willy-nilly doing a little this, a little of that? And is it giving you the results you desire? The whole reason I put this app out is because as I habit coach ladies and the hundreds of women I have coached over the years as far as a group fitness instructor and personal trainer, a lot of times we don't follow programs. We're just kind of be bopping around, just doing whatever. And y'all, you know, I coach at Orange Theory. And I love it. I love group fitness. I love teaching it. I love taking it. I love the community aspect of it, the accountability. And Orange Theory is a great workout. So for me, what I personally do is I'll pop in a class or two a week after I coach. Sometimes not at all if I'm just really like strapped for time. I do strength training three to four times a week. And every four weeks I phase it, which we do inside of the app. So if you're doing a group fitness class like Orange Theory, F45, whatever, or you have a Peloton, which I do and I love. I love to edit my podcast on my Peloton or a lot of times I'll ride my Peloton on Sunday. So that's just like a fun little movement for me. Um, Or I'll do it after I do like my upper body workout at home just for fun. Like keep doing you. Like don't stop doing something because you're like, I love this. It brings me joy. It's fun. But I would challenge you to think, okay, am I following a program for me in this phase of life that is fulfilling the needs that I need? If you're not seeing the results you want, I'm not saying don't give it up, but dial it back a little bit, right? I think we just need to be super strategic with your workouts and following a progressive overload program like we talked about in the previous episodes It's what we need, okay? That is just the facts. This is what we need to change our body composition to build more muscle fat, muscle mass, which burns fat, right? Keep doing what you love, but scale it back to make it work in your life and to be able to follow a progressive overload program like we have inside of the app. Next question is, what is your plan each week? What is your workout plan each week? If you're like, Uh, I don't know. I'm just kind of winging it. Girl, you need to schedule out what you're doing, when you're doing, where you're doing it, what you're even going to wear, right? Put put your clothes out the night before as a nice little habit loop, a trigger for you to go do said workout. You have to do this separate from your regular calendar. Like I use a Google calendar. I have all my podcast uh, interviews on there. I have things blocked out for projects I'm working on, stuff for my boys, If I schedule my workouts on my Google Calendar, it gets lost. It gets lost in all of that mess of everyone else's stuff. So I use a paper calendar. I use pretty pens and I write out exactly what workouts I'm doing. That's the only reason I use the paper calendar is for my workouts. I don't write a to-do list. I don't write anything on there except each day what workout I'm doing. And I color code them because it's fun and it's cute and it makes me happy right? This is a major habit hack to ensure accountability and your workouts just not getting lost with everyone else's stuff. Now we teach this inside of my signature habit course and we'll be doing this in the app each week together as well in the community. Next question is, do you have 30 to 45 minutes a day, three to four times a week? I feel like that sounds like a lot. (laughs) Let me rephrase it. Do you have just 2% of your day to put towards a workout? Ooh, does that hit different, right? Can you work out 30 to 45 minutes, three to four days a week? Or can you just commit to 2% a day? It's the same thing. It's just changing your perspective on it, right? So when you come into the 21-day challenge, you'll be enrolled in my 21-day program, Ignite. This is like a great way to build momentum, introduce you to strength training, slow, progressive, overload. And then after the 21 days, you can ease into up to four days a week of strength training inside of Thrive. It's a 12-week program that's really built around progressive overload that I have had so much fun putting together these workouts for you, especially like the third phase and really giving you some more um, 
not necessarily advanced, but workouts that I know by the time you would get there, you're gonna be like, oh my gosh, this is really challenging me and this is fun. So you don't get bored and plateau, right? However, <laughs> life could get in the way and you're like 45 minutes or 30 minutes just is not doable today. So there are other workouts within the library. So when life happens, you never feel like you're falling behind. It's that Atomic Habits for Women philosophy coming into play, right? I mean, how will not having to go somewhere as well save you time, right? You were going to go do an hour-long workout at Orange Theory. Oh, you forgot you got to pick up your kid. Oh, I'm going to do one of the backup workouts Emily had in the app. I don't have 30 to 45 minutes available. I do have 15 minutes available to do her 15-minute backup workout, which I just actually filmed yesterday. And y'all, I've been so sore this week from filming all of your workouts for you, right? Right. So that saves you time. You're like, well, I don't have to change my outfit or like put mascara on and then getting there and coming back and fighting traffic. And do I have to stop and run errands? Right. You're going to be doing workouts from home in the Train for Life app. And there's backup workouts in the app for when life is lifing. Next question to ask yourself is, how are you talking about your time? Is it, I'm too busy? I don't have enough time to work out. I don't want to add one more thing to my calendar, right? That's why a lot of times we don't start habits. It's because it's overwhelming. It's decision fatigue. Like, girl, I got you. You don't even have to think about anything, right? But maybe we need to reframe the way we're thinking about or talking about time out loud or even in our head and reframe it to say, well, it's, this is just not a priority right now. Taking care of my health is not a priority. Ah. Uh, that changes your perspective again, doesn't it? Kind of like the 2% a day. Okay, well, how about we change it to, this is a priority for me. This is part of my habit identity. I'm doing these fitness habits because it helps me be more patient. It has more energy to keep up with my kids and the workday and all the things, right? This has to be a priority and you have to reframe your perspective the way you're talking to yourself about time and your priorities around your health. So like I said, I'll be answering even more FAQs on next week's episode as we officially launch the app, in particular, helping you define what training for life means. Spoiler alert, it's personal to you, but I'm going to share a little story about what it means to me. So again, thank you so much as you've been on this journey with me all month as we're launching the app on Monday the 30th. We'll start our 21-day challenge there. The beautiful thing is you don't have to start on the 30th. There is plenty of days built in to do three days a week of strength training. Have some grace built in in order to keep training for life, even in the busyness of life or even when the tech isn't working. Like, girl, this is real life <laughs> happening as we are launching this. And I think it's just a really good example of just pivoting and going with the flow and training for life using movement to help you do that. We'll start the 21 day challenge next week. I can't wait to launch the app with you on the 30th. I'm so pumped to be on this journey together. I can't wait to launch the training for life app with you on the 30th. Let's go. Hey girl, real quick before you go, if you are ready to take action in creating your own habit loops, then I wanna invite you to take the three-day habit loop bootcamp email challenge. You'll learn how to create your own cue, routine, and reward from the Atomic Habits for Women philosophy that we've shared here on the show. And oh, it's also available audio only too, so you can take it on the go while your mom Ubering around town. Just go to bit.ly slash habit loop boot camp. It's linked in the show notes as well to start taking action now. And if you love the show, the biggest way you can support me and other mamas like you is to leave a quick written review so we can help more mamas stop dieting and start training for life via habit hacking. Love and appreciate you.